This program has been rated PG-21. Parental guidance is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very interesting conversation. And of course, from this point going forward, Watoto Wakalale. PG-21 is rated for this program. And last week, we had a very interesting conversation with Wamoga and the Naftaris. And in Gene remains to be my name, or in French, you can simply call me Gene Waidevi. And... Teenage pregnancies is becoming a reality. And we were told, let's wake up to the realization that this is happening and it's here with us. Let us not put our heads in the sand. Mwisho wa siku, nisisi tupambane na hali yetu. I have a very interesting director who said, he's <laughs> called Paul Kariuki. He said, let's be real and let's deal with issues as they come. And I can't move forward without mentioning Look Up Radio 254, which is an online platform. It's your official online radio station broadcasting to you live from Nairobi, Kenya. And we show a sequel. Just go to your Play Store, download the application, and enjoy sanitized content, music, and everything that is therein. Wamoga. Karibu sana. You look stunning tonight. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> How was your week? I'm well. Yes. And I thank God mm -hmm. even for giving me another opportunity to live. Yes. I'm well. Kabisa. Mm. The nafs, the lovebirds. <laughs> Buddha, ulipitia ile ile kinyozi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's become part of the family. Okay, hata mimi nitaenda nipige hiyo cut. <laughs> yes. How how has been your week? Ah, uh, my week has been fantastic. Uh -huh. And I'm actually excited about tonight. Ah. Yes. Okay, yeah. is it this guy making you excited or you're just excited about tonight? He actually okay. makes me excited. If you know what. Eh, nyinyi mnaweza handshake. You know, for, for a man and a wife, eh? yes. We haven't gotten that warning from the WHO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No social distance. Yeah, no social distance. Yeah. Actually, in quarantine, you should be very busy. My friend, <laughs> it's that time of the week again. And last time, we were discussing teenage pregnancies and what could have caused for us to be where we are. Because the numbers are actually worrying. 11,000 and counting in Nairobi County alone. That is teenagers between 10 years. Now these are actually kids. How do you even call a, a 10 year old uh, child a teenager? 10 years to 14 years, in Nairobi alone, they were more than 2,000. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. And now tonight, we will be discussing something very interesting. We have you back home. You're 35 years old with a 10 year old kid who is pregnant. How do you deal with this? How do you deal with your kid is having a kid? Actually, who should be a brother or a sister? You're actually now a grandma at mm -hmm. that age. Mm -hmm. Wamoga? Yes. What do you tell these parents who are very young and now wamekua shosh overnight? Mm -hmm. Na sasa, they are slay queens who are shoshes now. Yeah. In that case. <laughs> I tend to think some of them are now in a great stress. Yes, and, and I know depression Asking is real. questions that are no answers. Yes. But there is this saying that says, mm -hmm. when something has happened mm -hmm. and you cannot change it, mm -hmm. you have to accept it. Yes. For you to be able to move forward. True. And there, this is now the time to move forward. Good. How do we move forward? Because now this is the issue. Yes. It has happened, and we really need to move forward, right? Yes. 
tutasongaje sasa kwa sababu I, i know most of them are stuck especially the thought mm-hmm. of a kid yes hey being pregnant i can imagine even in your days mm-hmm. uh, ungesikika hata ukiwa 20 years and you're not married mm-hmm. eh? ati uko na mimba hai as as they say in french ogea sura tu itara eh first of all yeah if you want to overcome something yeah it has to start with you yes you yourself yes now i am talking of the parents yes they have to work on themselves mm-hmm. first mm-hmm. maana kuna kitu mzazi wanasema mm-hmm. wewe mtoto umetuangusha yes you have disappointed the family yes is that what we call bitterness yeah and you know the child that that now is carrying another child mm. the child the child that is carried mm. on <laughs> mm-hmm. is a baby carrying a baby is a baby carrying a baby the, the baby that is carried yeah <laughs> has no problem true she's a, he's he or innocent. She, an innocent yeah. brad mm. so kile kitu tunafanya ni sisi wazazi kwanza kujifanyia kazi hapa ndipo tuna tuna advice even the the parents if you cannot be able to handle it on your own you can go and see the counselors mm-hmm. so that they can give you more advice true and it is very very good and mm-hmm. very very wise yeah that you cannot depend on your ideas only yes. because when it comes on that you might think uh, to advise your child yes. you, you to about that pregnancy yes and it will be adding sin to another yeah and your generation will be cast through that wow. So instead of doing that you need first of all to look for your advice yes. you compose yourself yes and you need to compose yourself by the way yeah. because you have no option yeah. now that the child is coming mm. and this child hata hajaolewa ako tu kwa boma wewe mwenyewe utachukua hizi aibu zote ujiwekelee kwa mtoto wako mm-hmm. uiweke kwa moyo wako kwa sababu ya mtoto wako ndio yes. uweze kumsaidia yeah. na ndio uweze kumjenga aweze na yeye kuona vile uko na ush, na ufumilivu yeah. na uko strong yeah. Ivi katika hiyo to a being strong like that way mm-hmm. she will be more stronger true na ataweza kubeba ile mimba kiwa hana stress yes lakini kama sio hivyo utaweza kufanya we ukuwe na depression mm-hmm. mtoto wako akuwe na depression mm-hmm. agojeke a, a, either afe ama katikati hapa alikuwa na akili kwa sababu hata yeye maybe hakuprani hii sukari ilikuwa inatolewa <laughs> oh, i don't know why i'm even laughing wamoga told us last week that uh, this generation has a coded language and they're saying my should i call it the the, the honey pot yeah. or you said what my 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 cup my my tea is full of oh my tea is full of sugar please come and, and reduce. reduce this sugar So you see the implications of reducing the sugar eh? but before I cross over to the naf- naftaris yes. there's something you said yes that this parent if they can't work on themselves they mm. need to to connect to a counselor yes now tuko ghetto tuko gidurai we are in kawangore we are in kibera mm-hmm. and these guys don't even have maybe this budget ya kuona counselor mm-hmm. who can help or yes. they they actually don't know how to go to a counselor. Yes. I would maybe request you because you can actually talk to them on the phone. Yes. Maybe you can give out your number. Yes. Or you guys can call us through look up also. Then we can connect you with them. Yes, yes. But you can just give your number right now. Yes. So that we can move forward. Yes, this is the number that you can call for uh, one-on-one counseling. We can do it even online and we can help each other right now that we are in quarantine time. Yes. We can do it and it can be uh, of a good help yeah. to you. 0720 Good. That's the number and that's just to show you that we welcome you with open arms and we are ready to help you and walk with you through this tough time. Okay? We are here for you my friend. Yes, the nurse. Muko chonjo. Kabisa. This parent is 30. Sasa ni shosho. Kutaenda aje. <laughs> I'm on you now. 
of course it's it's overwhelming yes in itself mm-hmm. um there are mixed emotions with it that comes with it yeah mm. and uh you don't actually know what to do true but what what i would advise is first you work on yourself because yeah. there is a tendency of shifting the blame true it's human nature i think yes yeah but on this case i tend to believe if i was in the situation i'm guilty mm-hmm. maybe the child okay i have a part to play mm-hmm. on that mm-hmm. the child has a part to play yeah now because we are facing a real issue it's True. not the time to you know put the blame on anyone uh, it's, it's not no time for the, blame game yes. and pointing fingers yes now yeah. it's time now to now try and handle the situation so if you come down you the mother will uh, will have now a lot of responsibilities because he will be responsible for this child and the other child true so you'll be responsible for your child yes and now the mother of the child yes so however hard it is it's so important to keep the composure so that your child the, the, this situation will not break your child forever True. because according to how you handle it it will determine how the life of that child is from there True. there's a bible verse that says mm-hmm. whatever tribulation you are going through it's not new True. Yes. it has happened before yes and people have overcome True. so even in this one you first tell yourself I am not alone it has happened it may be tough mm-hmm. it may be you know you may be overwhelmed it may actually require you to seek help too yeah so that you can actually be able to handle it but embrace yourself because the child the pregnancy it's not the mistake mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. Because so, uh, you say at before like, you were formed in your mother's womb I knew you uh-huh. So who your mutoto? Mungu anamjua. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you don't have a right to determine you know like do other things like yeah. abortion or mm-hmm. you have not to take the responsibility of now handling this child on how to handle the child. True. Because also what this child now will eat your own child will determine what the other child will be like. Uh-huh. True. What you do to this one will determine to the other one. True. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it's uh, it's you push one, it yeah. pushes all. Yeah. So it's like whatever it is you do to one party affects yeah. the results yeah. of the other. Yeah. Now. Yes. Ah yeah. <laughs> Let's talk to these guys, man. <laughs> Are you depressed to start with? Uh, I, I know that I know the situation is depressing. <laughs> it is. Like Seriously. But I understand the magnitude and 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 phew, man it's it's, it's tricky. tricky it's tricky na ndi kuefunzo kwa wale wengine you know that would be my first reaction yeah. like a man mm. but uh, because looking at the whole situation gene um we know we say nobody knows where the shoe pinches yes but the way are true and if i was and you know that mm. you just gave us a story last week yes now people don't like being called grandfathers yes <laughs> even when it comes naturally yeah we don't want to accept yeah we don't want to be seen to age <laughs> now you want to call me a grandfather mm-hmm. at 35 mm-hmm. no that is not nice. my friend <laughs> and what's off you can imagine this guy being, <laughs> being the you know, grandfather being a grandfather <laughs> and you, know, you can be called a grandfather you know they, they say in french yes <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, know, you, you can be called a grandfather yeah. because maybe your your brother yeah. or your older brother or your older sister has a child or maybe you have cousins who are very old and yes. they, they had children and you become a grandfather. It's agreeable. <laughs> yes. It comes through like a joke. Yes. Yeah. We actually don't That reminds me of a grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> we don't identify with that personally. Yeah. But now you want to call me a grandfather. What's up? I'm being called a grandfather because of a child who is 10 years old. Whoa. No, you want me to faint. 
He's one of the Nigerians, so you are finished me. Yeah, you finished me. You <laughs> killed me. It's traumatizing yeah, for agree. a parent. True. Because you've been looking at number one as a parent. Now, I already did my family planning. I wanted three children. Now, the military me need a side. Where do I start? Now, I already thought probably I have already brought up my children. I don't want to go back to diapers. Yes. I've been taken back there. Actually, you'll go back because a 10 year old, uh, let me say even 18, 19, yes. they, they, it's, it will be very difficult for them to go to work and now provide for. So you have to be actually there. You have to become the parent. This is a child. Kid. Yes. They are not out of my hands. Yes. I'm still figuring out what they will eat. True. What they will drink. True. What, how they'll go to school. And now they have brought me another child. So how will they even figure out this child? So that means the responsibility now is squarely on me, together with the social issues. True. Um, but before you even go there yeah. to the social issues, eh, there, there are these young boys or young men who said, Nerea, don't usitwe mimbayangu. Yani Nerea is this kid, uh, there is a kid who comes, every kid comes with their own plate. Yeah. So I think they still hope. Atako katoto kakija, katakuja na saani yake. Easier said than done. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, easier said than done. Yes. For sure God will provide. Mm -hmm. But Gianna, the challenge is real. The trauma is real. Because I also be, everyone will be looking at me. Probably I've bragged how good a parent I am. Yes. Especially to your friends. Yes. Mukikula mm mbuzi. -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they know I'm a good parent. Eh? I'm a teacher by profession, I've brought up children. Uh -huh. So I have figured it out. Yeah. My parents probably have told me something about my child. And I told them, no, I think you're not right about this. But neighbors have told me, we don't think your child is going the right way. I ignored it. I said, no, no, that is not my child. The mm. teachers warned me. So all this starts flooding down, flooding in my mind. True. And a regret starts coming in. So it's very difficult on any parent. To have a child get pregnant true and have the child true it's very difficult traumatizing to say the least because economically you have to bear the cost psychologically psychologically socially, socially again you'll have to bear the and this is not a one-time cost true you see if i was to bear the maternity cost and that that's it that's something else now i'm bearing the cost of bringing up a child and maybe probably i'll have to take both of them to school not just that even try to clean up and just make them know who they should be. It's well, not easy. Okay, those are the parents, and I think we have a leeway, if I may say so, because uh, we have Wamoka, who has already done, given you her number. <sighs> you can call, and uh, you guys will chat our way forward. Because this thing, as we, we say, it has a psychological effect. It can really get into some of these parents and it becomes depression and stress and other things. Actually, uh, there, 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 there is a scenario of a lady who gets depression and actually rejects. Now, not in this scenario, but there was such a scenario. Sasa, anatupa ule mtoto wa miaka kumina nje saobu mpata mimba, unampata kwa streets. Okay, you know there are guys who really when it, it gets on top of their head it starts mm -hmm. <laughs> and there is no going back, right? So just call and uh, you'll be sorted out in regards to mentorship and uh, just chatting away forward. Yeah. Let's talk to now these kids who are pregnant. We all agreed last week there must have been issues that brought them to where they are. They are trying maybe to fill the void of we parents being absent. Okay? Friends come in, and uh, what I understand by this is if you have a low self esteem and you have guys who just tell you to one A site, to end a he place, to find a you just follow because you want to fit in in the crowd. And by so doing, again, you get lost. As you said, curiosity. Most of them are in where they are today because of curiosity. Someone told you sex is sweet, so you want to experiment and know this sweetness is how. So at the end of the day, 
you get yourself where you are. So let's talk to these kids. Let me just call them kids yes. because they are kids who are having babies. Mm-hmm. Uh, how 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 are they going to deal with this situation? What a deal? How 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 do we move forward? Mimba ndo hi na ndo haka katoto kamiaka kumi na. Um, I tend to think according to their situation they might not even know what to do what they are doing or they are in a danger zone ah to true. them they are just kids kiongea mtoto wa miaka 10 huyu mtoto wa miaka 10 bado anaona yeye ni mtoto kwa mama yake ataenda tu kumwambia kitu mm-hmm. inacheza kwa tu bo nasikia kitu na hata hana habari ni nini ile kitu iko ni kumzuiria atsije pia akashikana na ile company tena kwa sababu wao ndio watamfundisha zile dawa atakunywa aha hiyo kitu itoke aha mm-hmm. sasa kazi hapa ni kwa mzazi attend ear child does not know anything true but some you should get into the ghetto yeah wengine <laughs> wanasema kama alijua kufanya hii hata <laughs> hii atajua mwingine anakuwa pale anaambiwa majani inafanyaka ah vitu anapewa vitu anapewa vitu wajiru warulie says in kushika you from <laughs> the village eh? yes. you know these things eh? yes. we are together na huku huku upande kwanza upande za ghetto ghetto yes kuna walimu wengi sana. Ah uh, yes. Na mtoto ataaga huko. Teenagers, wewe uko wewe teens uko na mimba. Kaa kwa nyumba yenu. Ukijaribu kuguza hiyo mimba, kukunywa tu vitu, twenye unaambiwa utakufa. Utakufa na utaua hata mtoto. Kaa kwenu. Sikiza mama anakuambia nini. Fuata magizo ya mzazi wako wachana na watu sasa that you have failed your parents don't go back there true and when the day of judgment comes yeah. utakesi yako na ya mtoto wako na mtoto wako you have killed too yes okay already umefanya mzazi ameenda chini amefanya bidii yake yote amekusaidia umefika hapo umefika umemwangusha tena urudi tena umwangushe kusikia kwamba mimba uliyokuwa nayo haiko mtoto mwingine aliongeza mzazi rudi sana. Mzee ile mimba niliacha ukiwa nayo iko wapi? Ati shughuli zako ni nini mama? Shughuli zako ni nini? Mzee mtoto. Shughuli zangu ni mtoto. Mwambie mama tumbo ni yangu. Mtoto aliyekuwa kwa tumbo alikuwa wangu. What is your business? Eh? And I think that directly takes us back to what we were discussing last week which was too much freedom. Yeah. And lack of boundaries because by the time a child speaks mm-hmm. this way to the mother to the mother it seems wamezoeana kiasi ya kwamba they feel now the child feels like they are age mates yes with the parent mm-hmm. which shouldn't be the case at any point at in life any point of life a child must respect the parent true he hata kama mimi wa mzazi wetu alikuwa anatuambia hata ukinafuka ukae kama binguni uh, uvike binguni yes i'll remain your parent save your family by obeying wa parents you know umesema uh, tulikuwa tunaambiwa hata ukirefuka ufikie binguni she reminded me even today mm-hmm. if my wife asked me something and i really don't want to do it if she goes to my mom for some reason i'll do it yes, <laughs> yes. before we go for a very short break eh? um uh the nafs let me let me come to you mademoiselle we are learning this french eh? yes um this girl is in that situation and uh, it is how it is like which way forward it's a uh, it's actually um my point will be the balance in this way you have to try and make this teenager yeah. understand where they are at because for they, they okay of course they have so much information that is out there mm. 
but they are realities mm. that are there. And because at this point, still is a child, you have to keep them reminding them, take your medication on time, mm. eat well, do this, do that. So it's a balance. You cannot get tired. You cannot get tired. And you have to balance also your emotions so that you don't disrupt the growth of your own child and actually disrupt the growth of the other child. So just hold your anger for nine months <laughs> and burst <laughs> after Katoto Kakizaliwa. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, the tongue has power. Yeah. So whatever it is you proclaim, yeah. yes. it might actually affect these generations. Yes. So just be a blessing to your children and yeah. to your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we are going to take a very short break mm -hmm. and we are coming back in a moment. But remember to uh, continue with this conversation online. You can join all our online platforms and look up TV is our official Facebook page. Slide into our DM, send me your messages and uh, we are going to read them on air. You can still text us through 22285. Now Jumbe Utakua Umefika. Ingene remains to be my name or you can call me Genawai Dedi. In French, we'll be back in a moment.